Hi, this is Peter from Ultimate Marketing Strategies. Uh, this is a follow-on video from the review I did previously of SEO Presser, Blogger High SEO, and ClickPub SEO. Um, it's a review of WP SEO Beast, which was released after I did the initial review. Okay, so here we are on the main SEO Beast uh, settings page, and this is very similar to yeah, the settings on the other plugins. We've got the options there to decorate the keywords. And it's also, um, if your theme uses H1 tags for the titles, you can uh, select that. I mean, most WordPress themes do, do use H1 tags for the titles. Um, <clears throat> and here, you see a bunch of options are very similar to what you get in SEO plugins like All-in-One SEO or, or Platinum SEO. Um, the idea behind this uh, WP SEO beast is it's um, an all-in-one SEO plugin, so you don't need separate uh, plugins to do the uh, the job that all in one SEO would do. Okay, so I'll just update that option. So we've got our H1 tag uh, option selected. So what we'll do is we'll go and create a post, and I've just selected a uh, an SEO article that I've copied from Easing Articles. So I'll just paste that in and I'll give it a title and we'll give it the main keyword of SEO. Okay, I'll hit the publish and that will uh, generate the, uh, the score. Okay, so we can see here we've got a, a score of 3.2 and it's got all the usual things of keywords and titles, H1 tags, keyword in last first sentence, you know, um, links to internal page, etc, etc. Okay, so, you know, in, in terms of, uh, compared to the other plugins, it, it works in a very similar way. It does have an LSI keywords uh, function, which uh, ClickBump SEO and Easy WP SEO have. So, for example, I can type in SEO, hit the get LSI keywords button, and it gives me a list of LSI keywords that I can insert into my article and uh, hopefully improve the on-page SEO. Okay, so um, that's that's the sort of it in the nutshell. Now, there are some issues, um, and I had contacted the author about it, but unfortunately, uh, as of the time of making this video, they, they still hadn't been um, solved. So hopefully, uh, they will be resolved sometime in the near future. Okay, so here we see these uh, these ones here that have got across the auto bold, auto italicize, and auto underline. Well, yeah, I could go back in uh, into the settings and um, select those options. But um, you know, if if I if I want to manually do that, so let's say I, I go bold SEO, italicize, and underline. Okay, so now we've got bold, italic, and underline. And if I hit the update button, we'll see our score was 3.2. Okay, it's now updated it, and the score is exactly the same. And we see that these ones are still marked as X. Okay, so it doesn't recognize if you go manually um, do, those, do those decorations yourself. And as pointed out with some of the other plugins and you know particularly with SEO presser is if you have the auto decorate options turned on it means that there's a processing overhead each time somebody views the page the plugin has to go and you know do the bold italics and underline for you so therefore it's generally better to do it manually and have it recognize that you've actually done that okay the other issue I have is um, it forces you I mean, you could see this as a good or a bad thing. It forces you to use its own um, SEO settings for the title, description, and keywords. That means if you're uh, already got a plugin installed like Platinum SEO or All-in-One SEO, it means that you can't use that in conjunction with this. It forces you to use its own. Um, and I did a test where I had uh, All-in-One SEO enabled at the same time, and what it does. Uh, SEO Beast will create duplicate uh, title, meta, uh, title, meta description, and, and keywords, which obviously isn't good. So 
it's a, at the moment it's a all or nothing so it means if you've currently got all your settings um, in a you know another SEO plugin like all in one SEO it means it uh, essentially you need to get rid of it so for me that that really is quite a a big limitation I mean it, it's it's fine if you're starting out a completely new site and you can stick with it and it will do pretty much the same job as those, those plugins but uh, I don't like not having the option where it uh, forces you to use it. Um, so just to um, give you a quick overview of some of the other um, things in the admin section there, here's how it displays uh, the score, uh, your keyword, and then you can hit the recommendations which essentially just goes to the post so you can see all the details. And I should also point out that it does have um, a mobile option so if you're if you do a lot of uh, editing, checking your stuff via a mobile device, you know, it has a support for all these uh, mobile devices here, which is something the other plugins don't do. Um, whether or not that's useful for you depends on you know, how much work you actually do from a, a mobile device. But I mean, at, at this stage, it's the only plugin that does have support for mobile options. Okay, well hopefully you've uh, found that uh, review useful and um, you can compare it to the other on-page SEO plugins that I've also reviewed. Thank you.